How we doing in New York City DSA? How we doing? It always feels ridiculous to say comrades when we're with non-socialists, but now we're here! Full socialism! I have luxury, but we're almost there. My name is Zahran Mandani, and I am here with the recent birthday queen, Marcella McFadden! So, combined on the stage, we have 30 days of hunger strike shout-outs. A full month of no food! So, we are very, very excited to be kicking off tonight's event, where we proceed to double the number of socialists in office in Albany. Who's ready to hit double digits? Something that has never been done in New York State history. We are about to do that ourselves. So I'm going to pass it over to Marcella to talk about what the six of us have managed to do in the years that we have been in Albany. Yes. Thank you. Marcella, let's go! Hey, everyone. So glad to be here with you. So glad that we have this opportunity to be together. So glad to have an opportunity to be with my slate mate to decompress. Because Albany has been tough. Despite all of that, I'm here to tell you all the wonderful things that we have accomplished. We were able to tax the rich and secure four billion dollars. We were able, we were able to get 2.1 billion dollars for the excluded workers. Historic, no other state has been able to do something like that. So we're hoping to be the leaders and that we more. We legalized marijuana. If anybody needs a light cleaner. <laughs> we closed down power plants. <laughs> now I'm going to pass it to Laura to tell you a little bit more. And shout out to each and every one of you who came out last fall because we also helped secure a historic debt relief deal for New York City taxi drivers. <laughs> Erasing hundreds of millions of dollars of debt in a single day. And, but the reason that we're here, the reason that we're not resting on our laurels is because there is still so much more to win. Right? We are still fighting tooth and nail to pass build public renewables in Albany. We are still fighting tooth and nail to pass good costs. And every day, while we see the impact that we've been able to have, we also see the limits that six individuals who are socialist members of this organization can have as elected officials in Albany. We see the ceiling, we feel it every single day, and we press up against it. And we know that in order for us to achieve the goals of our chapter, and to truly win a socialist New York, we cannot sit back in single digit numbers. We need to double the size of our caucus, and to do that every single chance we get. And the beautiful thing is that everybody else in Albany knows that we feel that way. I'll give you an example. Right now I'm wearing, you might see many people in the same outfit. I apologize for that. But this is Salahana's sweater. And, you know, I bought this with my girlfriend's account so that my name wouldn't show up on a file like a donation. But we got it. But I had to call Kevin Cahill to tell him, Salahana's opponent, that I was going to be endorsing Sarahana. And he told me, I expected you to. And that is testament to how people understand us for who we are. We are DSA members who are in Albany fighting for the goals of our chapter, and nobody gets confused up there about who we are and what we're ready to do. So we need, we need this entire slate to join us up there. The entire slate. We need all seven of them, right? right? All seven of them. Two in the Senate, five in the Assembly. We need to get it done. And so you are going to hear from the champions of our slate who are for the first time in DSA history statewide across the entire yeah. state. Yeah. No longer will we be in conference where they say socialism or the issues of gentrification or the issues of tenancy or fighting back against those things are New York City specific. We are going to have representatives in Vanessa and Sarahana outside of the five boroughs. 
So to kick us off, we have our first speaker. The man who's about to take down Albany's Joe Manchin. The man who is about to take down Kevin Parker. The man who has raised as much money as Kevin Parker has taken from fossil fuel interest in the time that he's been in office. 